everyone, it's John from What Up. Welcome back to another video. Now, this is a video about the recent castings Wheel of Time and Prime gave us on Twitter. Now, every Wednesday, Wheel of Time and Prime does a reread on Twitter. So if you don't follow them on Twitter, I left their Twitter down below in the description box. Click that, follow them there, because they do interact with the fans. They talk a bit with us uh, every Wednesday. And pretty much every Wednesday, they've been giving us some castings. So it's kind of gotten to the point where the fandom expects to see new faces on a Wednesday. It's not always going to happen, we know that, but we got three new castings this week. Uh, one of them was kind of something that we sort of already really knew, but we got confirmation on, and uh, one of them was a really big surprise. Like, shocked me, but we'll get into that in the video in a second. So if you don't follow them on Twitter, please follow them, follow along with Reread, and you'll see the, you know, the new castings when they come out there as well. And if you don't follow me, my Twitter's down below too, follow me there. All right, before we get started into the video, I want to mention one other thing. Our resident graphic designer, Alitza, she does the music for the intro and the outro of the channel, all the slides you see, the backgrounds, my logo, all of that stuff. She takes care of all of that. She needs some new equipment. Now, in order to get this new equipment, it's, it's fairly pricey, so she started something called a Kofi. Now, uh, think of it as you can donate a little bit or a lot to someone, uh, like a Patreon or a GoFundMe. But uh, if you DM her on Twitter and ask her uh, for things that you need, so if you need some new music for a channel or for a project, or if you need some graphic design done for pretty much anything, she will do that for you. Uh, and then you just donate a little bit of money to her uh, to cover the costs of her doing that, and that goes towards her new equipment. So I've left a link down to that in the description box down below. Please go there and support her. A couple of dollars uh, it goes a long way from a few different people. All right, so before we do get started, spoiler warning. In this video, I'm going to talk about certain scenes in the eye of the world that coincide with Wheel of Time and Prime's casting. So if you haven't read up to at least chapter 35 in the eye of the world, be forewarned, I may spoil a few things for you. All right, let's get on to the video. All right, so who do we have in this video? We have new castings. Now, the new castings are for three of the two of and Anne. Now, they are tinkers. So they're nomadic people in the Wheel of Time series that basically travel around, and they're known for a bunch of different things. They're very musical. They sing. They dance. They live life to the fullest, and they're very happy. Uh, they're known to be very good menders of things, uh, and almost legendary. So they say a, a pot mended by a tinker is almost better than brand new. That's, that, that's one of the sayings out of the books. So uh, they're very good at that stuff, but what they're really known for is something called the way of the leaf. Now the way of the leaf is a lifestyle that believes that violence should never happen, period, under any circumstances for any reason, and that violence harms the doer of the violence as much as it harms the victim. So if they ever get in a violent or scary situation that they can't get out of, they run away. And that's just basically what they do, uh, because they believe that by running away, not only are they saving themselves, but they're saving the person who's doing the violence from actually doing violence, because it'll harm them. I think the analogy they use in the books is, you take an axe, you chop down a tree, the tree is the obvious loser, because it's now chopped down. But the sap from the tree pits the axe, so the blade gets rusted, it breaks down over time, and eventually the axe will fail from all the violence that it's doing. Really good analogy. Um, and it's brought up a bunch of times that Realistically, that mentality doesn't work really well in the Wheel of Time world. Because, I mean, there's a lot of violence <laughs> in the books and a lot of violent people and violent things. Uh, but, so these, these traveling people, these tinkers, they abide by those rules. Now, they live in uh, basically covered wagons as they travel around that are very brightly painted, much like this one here. Now, I believe this one was supposed to be a Gleeman's wagon uh, taken from the cover art of uh, The Shadow Rising. However... That's what their wagons look like, just like that. And they, they wear very brightly colored clothing uh, and in such combinations it'll make you blink to look at them. So that's, that's the Tinkers. Now, we had three of them cast this week, and one of them, to me at least, was a massive shock. And let's get into that right now. So who's the shock? Well, the shock is Maria Doyle Kennedy. She is an Irish actress, singer, songwriter, and musician that has been acting for over 30 years. She was born in 64, so she has a lot of experience. She's known, best known probably for two different things, The Tudors and Outlander. I mean, Outlander's a massive show. Uh, and Maria Doyle Kennedy has some amazing acting chops. She's a really good actress. She's a really good singer, songwriter, and musician. If you don't follow her on Instagram uh, or on Twitter, she does a lot of uh, basically free concerts. Uh, she'll do a little concert here and there to lift people's spirits and stuff during, during this time, and she's really good at it. Now, why was this such a shock? Well, we knew that she was cast in the show months ago. Uh, it, was, it was kind of, you know, 
released uh, by accident, kind of a leak, and then Wheel of Time and Prime sort of talked about it. We all knew that Maria Doyle Kennedy was involved in the show, but we did not know what character she was playing. Now, there was a lot of wild speculation on what was going on here, but because she's such a big name and she's so talented, we all kind of thought that, well, she's going to play a very prolific character in the series. Uh, it, it turns out that's not the case. So she was cast as Ela. Now, Ela is uh, the wife of the uh, leader of the band of tinkers that we meet in the Eye of the World. Uh, so, very small part. We see her in the Eye of the World. We see her uh, again later on uh, during the Shadow Rising, and um, not much after, after that. So, a, a couple of short stints here and there we may see her in a few episodes in the show and that's pretty much it unless they change things uh substantially to make the tinkers have a much bigger role and I, I don't know if they will because the tinkers although they were important to the story they weren't central to it so we have this very big name this very experienced amazing actress and she's playing a very small role um however after the fact now that we look at it you look at Marie's experience. She's a singer. She's a songwriter. She's a musician. Uh, she has an amazing voice. Uh, she's a great actress. All that combined together. Yeah, I mean, the Tinkers are very musical people, like I said. Uh, so when we do see them in the eye of the world, and Perrin and Egwene are around their fire, fires with Elias after they were in the wilderness for so long, there's a lot of singing. There's a lot of dancing. There's a, there's a whole lot of stuff going on. Uh, and I think she would be perfect for the role. And that doesn't get me to the point where I wasn't a little disappointed when I heard that's what she was playing. I mean, I thought she'd be playing uh, Elida Sedai, the Red Aja um, that was uh, advisor to Queen Morghese, and I also thought she might have been playing Varen. Now, Varen's my absolute tip-top favorite character from the series. Uh, I, I talk about Gowan a lot because people don't like him. He's my second favorite. I mean, but Varen is Barnon, my favorite character. I think she would have been really good Varen. However, she's playing Ila, and uh, that's that. I mean, uh, I didn't see it coming, and... Uh, let me know in the comments. Did you guys see this coming at all? Did you, did you even think that she could play Hila? I, I didn't. All right, let's get on to our next casting. All right, next we have Daryl McCormick. Now, we've known Daryl McCormick is going to be part of the show since last November, when it was revealed that he'd be in three episodes in the first season. Now, I want you to remember that. Three episodes, first season. It's a lot. <laughs> There was some speculation back then, and I did some videos, and I even speculated back then that he would play a Ram or Galad, because he, I think he'd be a great fit for either one of those characters. But no one really knew. And then recently, over the last couple of months, Daryl is very active in social media. He does interact with a lot of his fans, and he's interacted with me as well, which is really neat to see. Uh, and he dropped some hints, and I think a couple weeks ago, he took it too far. I, I covered it in another video, but essentially he said he's living his best tanker life, and he showed a little emoji of sword. So he, he gave away his role. He really did. He's playing a ram. Now, who is a ram? Well, a ram is the son of Ela. Now, a ram is, again, only in the eye of the world for a brief period, just a, a chapter or two. And then after that, we see him later off on in the series. And he becomes an integral part of Perrin's storyline. So he does get not just a recurring cameo, but he becomes an important character. So Darren McCormick, Great actor. He's been acting for a few years now. You probably know him from Peaky Blinders or Vikings. Um, would do an excellent job playing a ram. But let's get back to that three episodes first season. That's a lot. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's the first thing I thought of when this casting came out as official. And it was the only thing I think a lot of people... Stopped a lot of people from just believing straight up that he was a ram no matter what he was saying. It's because it was reported he's in three episodes in the first season. So... To me, that means they're going to do one of two different things. The first thing is, they could do, is they take that couple chapters where Perrin and Egwene are with the Tinkers and Elias, and they break it up. So it's very short snippets here and there over a couple of different episodes, and not much has changed from the book. Or they flesh it all out. We get a little more of the Tinker backstory, a little more of a Ram's backstory. We see more of him with Elan Ran, Ran's his father, which we'll get into as the next casting here in a second. Um, and then maybe show a little bit more after Perrin and Gwing leave, because, I mean, realistically in the books, he's there, and then we don't see him for a couple of books. And when we do see him, it's more of a Without giving any spoilers away, he has changed his character almost completely. So I think they may start showing some things that lead him up to that point. 
maybe flush him out just a little bit. That, that's my guess. I think that's really what's going to happen. I think we'll see a little more of Daryl on the screen, a little more of a Ram on the screen because he is such an important character in the books, uh, but he doesn't get much screen time until later on. I think we'll see see him more often, maybe build his character up a bit, and we'll see his journey to becoming what he eventually turns into in the book series. All right, now let's get to our last casting. All right, so next we have Narender Samra. Now, Narender is a English actor, and he's been acting since 1999, so he's been acting for a long time. Uh, and you may recognize him from The One, that movie with Jet Li in 2001. Uh, he was also did a brief stint on EastEnders. He did a stint on Homeland. And I believe he was in Christopher Robin, uh, the, the movie in 2018. Um, he played the milkman in Christopher Robin, believe it or not. Um, so he has a very wide variety of roles under his belt and a lot of experience too. He's a, he's a really good actor so if you watch some of the things he's in he does a very good job playing a bunch of different types of characters. Now he is cast as Rayan. Now Rayan is Ela's husband and the leader of the Tinkers. So this particular band that Perrin and Egwene meet during the Eye of the World, uh, he is their Mahdi. Now Mahdi is their their leader, for lack of a better term. He's the one in charge of them. He tells them where to go and what to do and looks out for their best interests. Now, he's a very good actor, and I think he'll fit the role really well. And again, this is another role, much like Ela with Moreto Akendi playing Ela, that it's very small. We're going to see him a little bit, just, just a little bit in the first season. We may not see him for a couple more seasons. And then after that, that's it. I mean, like, he's only in the, in the book series a few times, very briefly. Now, I did mention this with Daryl McCormick. We are going to see Daryl three times, three different episodes in the first season. So I assume, I assume we're probably going to see his parents as well and the other Tinkers, maybe. Um, and that means that we might get a little more screen time for these people. Uh, they, may, they may do something uh, of a change there to, to make them a little more important to the story or flush them out just a bit more. I mean, we really only see them in that one chapter, then they're gone for a couple of books. So, but uh, those are the three castings that Wheel of Time and Prime put out on Wednesday. Again, if you don't follow them on Twitter, their Twitter's down here. Follow them and follow me too. Uh, I tweet a lot, way more than I should probably. <laughs> um, and and you'll see the castings themselves live on Wednesday when when they release them, and uh, you get to interact with them too. They ask a bunch of questions, a bunch of polls. It's it's a lot. It's a good time. Interact with the Twitter Time community. Um, there's there's a lot of really good people on there, a few thousand strong, and they're very very. Uh, diehard fans and that are very accepting too which it's it's a really good fandom um i've been in other wheel of time fandoms and groups in other mediums i guess you'd say and they're not as accepting and they're not quite as nice twitter time nicest people you ever meet all right so that's all i got time for today uh let me know what you think in the comments down below what do you think of these castings what do you think of maria do maria do kendi as as Ela? like really <laughs> um is it is is it is it good? Are they gonna are they gonna increase your part a little bit? Uh, is it nice to have a big name as a small cameo? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, Daryl McCormick, three episodes in the first season. What's gonna happen there? Like, what's up with that? Um, let me know think down below. Let me know how you think I'm doing here too. Uh, I, I enjoy doing this. You guys are the sole reason I'm doing this. It, it, it's so much fun. All right. Thank you so much for sticking with me here to the end. And here's to many more.